Hi fairies! Today, we will create an amazing dry art together, following the talented 2D artist Cami Rice. I recommend visiting her profile, all of her creations are so magical. Of course, I got permission from this skilled artist to adapt her design. On my Instagram profile, I started a vote for the design we'll create together. Out of the four selected designs, Magnolia received 51% of the votes and Wisteria 49%. So I ultimately chose Wisteria because Cami herself voted for it. Since Magnolia was leading all along, I based the pose designs on it. We will transfer the final pose called Nature Calling to the Wisteria design. In the next step, we need to find a Monster High doll model that will best fit the Dryad's shape, especially the head. We are looking for a round face with a small nose. Now, we must remove all the fabric painting, remove the hair, and cut the entire body. To remove the glue from the hair thoroughly, we need to dip the head in warm water for a few minutes. We'll use acetone to remove the face paint. Then, we'll prepare an acetone bath for the head with a ratio of 70% acetone and the rest water, allowing the head to shrink and harden. It should be left there for a duration, ranging from 3 to 28 hours, depending on how much we want the head to shrink. After removing it from the acetone, the head will be very large and soft. It needs to dry for at least 48 hours, after which it will shrink and harden. While the head is being prepared for modeling, we'll work on the body. We'll start by cutting it into individual pieces, grinding down the cut edges. Then, we'll start assembling the structure using wire and hot glue, trying to closely match the stylization from the reference. I use these hands because they have a perfect pose. I think I've managed to capture the stylization of the design in the construction. I can start sculpting the missing mass. I'll use epoxy sculpt for sculpting. It's an air drying material that can be sanded and shaped. I recommend using gloves. I've burned my fingers a few times, but don't worry, they're fine. 
I'll start with the torso, as I won't be able to access it easily once the Dryad's pose is set. To smooth the edges, I'll use my fingers in water, which will help blend and smoothen the surface. fill in the limb structure and draw wood patterns on them. In the end it will look like real wood. While the body is drying we can work on the head. First, I need to cut out the eyes. I have two colors and I'm not sure which one will work better, but I'll decide after painting. Now let's create the horns. I'll make a skeleton from wire and then apply it to the head. To secure it, I'll fill the empty space with hot glue. In my opinion, the face looks almost like the reference.
now. Let's sand everything we've sculpted, especially the parts where the material meets the doll's body. Super glue. I'll take a toothpick and apply glue to all the joints to make them immobile, which I'll later cover with epoxy sculpt. I'll also dismantle the rest of the figure. While the body is drying, I'll finish the head's construction. Again, I'll start with aluminum foil and complete the entire crown on the head. I'll add all the details like the crown, ears, and loincloth and shape the torso to make the dryad look more androgynous. Now, I'll start sanding and polishing the figure to its final form so we can work on the tree parts. I'll drill holes in the wooden base for the doll's feet. the entire doll with acrylic paint mixed with a lot of water to better see poorly sanded parts. Now, we can sand the final parts. In the design, the character doesn't have a nose, so I have decided to sand it down here as well. Since I sanded it poorly, I'll have to model it now. Finally, we can model the small branches on the limbs and head. Now we have the entire model ready.
I'll start painting the model with a base acrylic paint. For the body, I'll use blue, turquoise and white, applying about three layers. Then I'll draw vertical stripes just like in the design, using turquoise paint with a lot of water. I'll create the orange parts on the limbs using an airbrush, using white, yellow and metallic bronze paint. For the next step, I'll carefully wrap the body with the tissue to avoid messing up the existing paint and I'll start painting the limbs. I used metallic magenta, purple, black and neon pink to create the color. the details and shade the head and body with dry pastels. The eyes we'll be inserting are slightly larger so I'll sand them carefully. Then I'll create a stand. I'll assemble all the parts to get an idea of what it will look like. In the meantime, I'll create individual flower petals to connect and insert into the hair. I'll make the hair out of 100% acrylic yarn. Some strands will be combed with a dog brush and some will be unraveled.
miniatures. Enjoy the showcase and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.